this is Denon. You can call me Porter because it's Mr. Porter, but this is Denon. And you are watching WatchLoud.com. Watch it very loud. Turn it up on the TV. Turn it up. In reality, man, like, as artists, everybody go through shit. And I took two to four years just to love me again. I didn't love myself. I've been through the ups and downs. Like, you had, you can't learn how to have something if you never lost nothing. And I'm okay with saying those things. So I, I'm okay with walking away from something. I didn't totally have to walk away from music. I mean, I scored a movie in that time. I, I, I started a sound design company and started doing that. I took on different shapes of things, but you know, I love music like it's a woman. So sometimes you gotta let that woman be that woman and step out of the way if y'all having issues. And I wasn't in love with it with, with it the way that I wanted to be, so I stepped back and I wasn't gonna do it wrong. I don't post. I ain't gonna milk the game. I'm not here for that. Like I love what I do. God gave me the opportunity to be able to do it. I've been shot. When I was a kid, I was 15, got shot, went through this thing, sent my parents through pure hell and, and, and flatlined in the process through times. And I know that life is short, but sometimes you forget when life moves at a million miles per hour. Like I went from nobody to this, this whole thing. And then look, M success even affected my life. My success with D12, my success as a producer, I never stopped for a minute and was breathing. I never stopped and smelled the roses. I can't remember shit about those years. I don't remember. And I wanted to change that. And, you know, I just started making some decisions that, you know, that, that I wanted to find my happiness. Like, I was talking to Dre about it. Like, and these people, when you're looking at them and they're going through it, it's like, oh, Dre, my brother, I can go talk to him. Right? And I go ask him, like, yo, Doc, like, Forget the money shit, forget all of that. You're happier. I seen you go through your shit, I was there. How you get there? And the first thing he told me was find your happiness. And that's what I was doing, I was taking my time to find my happiness and that's what you're hearing, I'm happier. And then when me and M started going, going back on the road, people don't understand the weight that that took. It took a lot of work. I wasn't in the best shape of my life, <laughs> I was like, I'm in chilling home fat mode. <laughs> I'm like, I ain't, I ain't, you know, I ain't them dudes, but I'm better now. But it took me to get to that point where I love myself enough to care. And I wasn't caring no one playing and now I do, and that's why I'm, I wanna share what I'm doing now because I feel confident behind it, so I don't care what people think. And I ain't doing it to be like, let me do what I gotta do to keep up with Lil Wayne or, or keep up with Drake or any of them people. Like, you ain't gotta do that. Everybody got their place. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't gotta do. You don't have to conform to 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 fit in. I'm going to find what makes me happy and and make sure that it can be relatable to people. And that's that's what you're hearing. Like the weight is lifted. It's just a lot more knowledge. I'm a lot smarter than I was in 2005. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was a lot. I'm a lot smarter than I was then before the improved diet. Uh, we were crazy, dumb, knucklehead kids, and we lost a brother, and that took its toll, and I had to sit back and say, fuck music for a minute, and cater to Denon a little bit, you know?